Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Elevator Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expression. In this video, we are going to solve this question called apples and oranges and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, this is the 18th video of the series called apples and oranges. If I look at the company, this question has been asked this. So, Facebook or Meta, let's look at what the question has to to say we are given a table called sales with three different columns sale date fruit and sold number the combined column sale date and fruit is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values of this table this table contains the sales of apples and oranges sold each day we are asked to write a solution to report the difference between the number of apples and oranges sold each day return the result table ordered by sale date okay let's go through this example so here we have various records for different sale dates and the fruit apple and oranges and the quantity of them being sold then obviously for 1st of May 2020 what is the difference 10 minus 8 between apples and oranges that is 2 for 2nd of May 2020 15 minus 15 0 and so on so that is what we have in our output so to solve this question what we need is we need to group by the sale date because for every sale date we need the difference and then we can employ the if function or the case win function whatever suits you best to say that okay for a particular day, 1st of May 2020, if your fruit is equal to apples, return the sold number, else you return 0 and sum that entire thing. That is going to give you for every particular day how many apples were sold. Similarly, you can do the same for oranges and you can get that. So, let's try to make that by demonstrating step by step. So, from this table called sales, if I group by the sale date and return the sale date, so return sale date, and let me try to get the number of apples and oranges as two different columns. So what I'm saying is if your fruit is equal to apples, then you return the sold number, else you return the zero. So for example, in this particular group, right? So first of May 20, you have apples and oranges. So we are just counting the number of apples for the first column. So whenever your fruit is equal to apples, then you return this, else you return zero and then you sum this up. So that is going to give you the total number of apples. So if I go ahead and sum this entire thing and let me alias this as, so as, uh, let me do apples. Okay, let me go ahead and run this, right? So let me do this and then let's see what do we have. So here for every particular day, we have how many apples were sold. So 10, 15, 20 and 15. So exact same thing can be done for oranges as well. So if I go ahead and copy this here and paste it and change it to oranges. So if your fruit is equal to oranges, then you return the old number, else you return zero and alias this as orange. So if I go ahead and run this now, then let's see what do we get in our output. So here you have apples and oranges and you need to calculate the difference between the two. So instead of creating a third column, what you can basically do is this entire thing is giving you the number of apples on every particular day. This entire thing is giving you the number of oranges on every particular day. So you can simply put a different sign here so if i just go ahead and do minus and let me bring this down here so that it is easier for us to view and this entire so obviously this is apples this is oranges so the difference is whatever is required in our output and this should be aliased as diff so let's rename as diff and it should also be ordered by sale date so order by sale date in ascending order okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was for every particular sale date we found out okay what is the total number of apples sold what is the total number of oranges sold and simply differentiated the two so and again, this is exactly like what we did in the previous video and earlier in the SQL 50 and advanced SQL 50 series as well, that we can use the sum function to perform a count. That is what we did here. But yeah, let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.